up last time, but here we go. On to the Canadian duo. T-Bone, mm. here you are. T.A. is the final pick. Rate the excitement, bud. Where are you? Well, T.A. against Puck. We've seen this already before, champ. By the way, nice uh -huh. jersey. I really thank you, like thank it. You. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Uh, yeah, we seen it earlier today, and it was just absolutely dominant. Like, even though the Puck did have a decent lane, the T.A. could just go jungle, farm up, and if you don't constantly smoke after her and kill her, they're going to struggle. Yeah, and we're already seeing the typical play. They want to get some vision up and around this area. You know, keep an eye on when the support is rotating back and throwing some uh, some stacks in there to prep for said TA. So uh, stack invasion is there from the side of Infinity. Maybe they'll make some aggressive moves in the early game. Yeah, we would like to definitely see that. But in order to get aggressive moves going, you're going to have to win the side lanes. And mm. uh, the question is, can they win side lanes? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Very aggressive movements from now. That's because they got that word up there, right? On the high yeah, ground. Yeah, yeah. They're feeling confident. They throw the stun. <laughs> oh, they're guaranteed to top two. And I, I don't know if they're going to get anything here. Little boys messing around with Costa Bile at the bottom. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, look at that. Can't Costa Bile does get the rune. <laughs> but he has tree grab, so little boy knows there's absolutely no concerns versus that hero right now. Yeah, position three Phoenix, I think it is like much better too against uh, Tiny. I mean, it's kind of a direct counter pick. But I was thinking, if it's a position one Tiny, he's got Sanjin Yasha and then that level 15, sorry, the level 20 status resistance. How long do those fire spirits really last? I mean, I don't know. It also, you take the damage faster, so there's that aspect. Yeah, that is true. I guess you also got to think about the Sun Ray doing damage to Tiny, like... It's not going to care about the grow armor or yeah, anything exactly. like that. But Costabile, you know, he doesn't have to really think about the Phoenix. Maybe you just want to play that in and out game. Look for the Puck. Look for the Dark Willow. Because those are your really... The main targets, to be fair. Yeah, Pamplona is trying to do his best. The Olicor impression down here was hoping to find a <laughs> Courier. Kind of sneaking around, but they did hide it. And then he will grab the first wave. But they were ready for that because Theo didn't bring out his, uh, his own Courier. He knew what the situation yeah. was. And... Uh, we have KJ playing offensively as the Ench, so a little bit interesting. Not something we see too often with these guys uh, switching yeah. up who they're laning with, but maybe just hoping that the Tiny plus Lion could score some kills. Yeah, that is quite interesting why they would put the uh, Ench top and not bottom. I feel like Ench would destroy a Phoenix, and then the Lion would be destroying a Dark Willow. So I wonder if it's because they just assumed they'd never get the Creep Camp bottom because it's like easier to block mm -hmm. as Dire. Right, right, right. That you could know? be possible. But Whereas you KJ just can play, just do this. But you kind of just play in the lane and just impetus, right? You don't really yeah. care much about the creep until you're level 3 and then you go pick it up like on the other camp. Yeah, it's really interesting. Let's see what they're able to do top lane with this. Tavo's off to a great start though. He's got almost every last hit. Yeah, I mean, getting a lot of space. The Hellbear Smash is going to chase now all the way into the tower. Tries to give him the old clap and just smacks him until the thing runs out. All right. Yeah, I, I, that's quite a bit of damage. So mm -hmm. Very annoying for now. He's and got he's lost Yogi all his region. Too. Yeah, he's just getting ran up by Tavo. That was the middle going 12 and 2 to 7 and 2 already. 8 and 2. All right. So, NDR, great TA player. A classic. Why is he bronze TA? I don't, I don't believe that. He might not have built a plus. That's my only assumption. Hmm. And then right. it stops. I oh, know he's definitely got Dota Plus. The guy's yeah, got he silver does. on like a billion heroes. Oh my god. Maybe <laughs> he just got it. Maybe he's grinding through the levels and hasn't hit TA yet. His feed is Maybe. just non stop hitting level six on like eight different heroes. Maybe he just goes through <laughs> them one at a time, you know? Gets his level, moves to the next one. The sampler. Mm hmm. Ma sampler yeah, maybe he gamer. just got it and all his heroes are at five. So every time he plays a hero, it goes to six. <laughs> and he just hasn't pumped. That actually makes sense. Yeah, that, that, that actually does make some sense. I mean, all these guys tend to play a lot. KJ, gonna get gone on. Oh, pops the nature's attendant. Okay, tell me, this spell <laughs> broken or not? Look how much they buffed it in the recent patches. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm surprised how little I still see Ench. I, I feel like Ench is a pretty fun hero. Like, why haven't the Chen players all migrated to Ench? Well, there's... She only gets to keep like one creep for some time, and that's it true. They're eventually all expires. Yeah, yeah, that's true. 
I don't know. Yeah. I feel like she does a lot of like a nice and annoying stuff in the early game, though, that the Chen players like to do, you know? Like this, yeah, you I, know? Get my ghost. I exactly. I think the player who's got it down right now playing Ench is Taiga. He plays like four Ench, maxes out the heal, and just like tanks up by Solar Crest and just sits there, makes him Explosion. go on him, pops the heal. Yeah, it's so disgusting how, how, what you can do with the new dangerous attendance. Oh, so the ghost help. is back. Destroys that courier, by the way. Yeah, it does so much damage, this ghost. It's unbelievably powerful because it does like piercing damage or something. Yes, and that's uh, right. so much damage to heroes, too. On, and creeps. Oh, man. I don't know if uh, he's lucky that he didn't take the centaur, or I think Sex Yogi was dead. Instead, he slowed the Dark Willow. Mm hmm. But they're getting pressured really hard up here. Uh, that being said, Mars is shoving the lane in, so the Juggernaut has been able to farm under his tower. Bottom. Yeah, what that pressure is doing well, yeah. Then we'll get the cogs out there on the coast of Vile. Finally going to get the pressure here, but the two-hero stun, he can't get the right click. What a combo. That's all the attacks we saw. This oh, can man. actually never kill the cog. Yeah, clockwork is actually incredibly good against Tiny, too, if he uses the toss. So if he ever does the tombo play, you just hook him, cog him, and he can't get out. Yeah. Oh, little boy, he's in trouble. Oh, the revenge. It was swift. First to start with the initial double stun, and now that's the first blood from Coast of Pele. Oh no. I mean, Pamplona gets a good ward down in the meantime, but was it worth it? It'll be the question. And Theo saw his move and instantly pings the high ground. Oh my good sir, you got busted. You knew exactly you know, what you were up to. That's a free ward for him, too. Oh, I feel so good. Oh, oh yeah, oh. look at that. Oh, 120 gold. Oh, that's amazing. Love it, getting yeah. XP and gold. As a four, like I play four right now, and I buy so many sentries in the game. Well, it's crazy, the investment. Like, they're so worth <laughs> so it. So good. Yeah. It's either for that or, like, some hero goes in this, right? Why buy dust? Dust is overrated. Just buy sentries. Oh, Chris, the melee forced to abandon this camp as it was just getting low, too. That, that one hurts. I think he's going to be okay with that, considering he did get first blood just now. Oh. Maybe. Speaking of some blood, Sexy, okay. on top they'll spill a little bit. Sexy Yogi will fall to Tavo. He had 15 just... wand charges, by the way. So definitely a misplay on his end there. Uh, wow. Was trying to get the Mars out mid lane with the catapult. We see a rotation from KJ. Theo is also here, ready to stun up the Oh, pump. that's an end player right there. Knows the orbs out, trying to punish it. Now they have the coil for the turnaround. They need some more TPs, though. Coil inside Bona. the cog. Pamplona gets out, but they will have the final bit of damage there from ADR to bring him down. Still stuck inside, though. Leashed up. Now stunned, too. So, so many drop heroes. A Completely worth it, though, I would say. Saves the tower. Oh. Yep. I mean, they did get the kill onto the TA and save the tower. You're right. But uh, now also TP'd, by the way. So that's minus 100 gold for him. He canceled the TP, realizing the TA is already going to die. But And Costa Bile, bottom two, had like an entire wave of free farm. It's a lot of pressure that SG just applied, and I think TA dying this early into the game doesn't feel too bad. As long as someone's stacking while you're dead, it'll be okay. Currently, they don't have any stacks, unfortunately, though, as Ench has just been clearing up those camps. Yeah, KJ is slacking. Get some Ancients going, buddy. I think He's there uh, now. last time... TA yeah, died and looked the TA. and gave him the yell. He's like, <laughs> yo, hey, where, where are my stacks? Yep. I I'm pretty sure last time we saw the TA, she already farmed the three stack of Ancients at this minute in the game. I, I recall... Us saying seven minutes, TA has farmed the triple stack of ancients. Yeah. I mean, that's you have to factor that in when you pick this hero. That's kind of the whole point, you know? Yeah. Meanwhile, they have the uh, the trio up top, both supports and the Mars, as Theolacor utilizes the end of a potato to farm up the small camp. This is and how. And uh, is way back there right now. Is he going to get jumped by Pamplona? Nope, he sees it. He sensed it. He didn't see it. I think he just sensed it coming. <laughs> Did they walk next to the outpost, maybe? I don't even know. No, they didn't. I think he saw like a glimpse and he just instantly started running back. Oh, he won't get caught now, but he's level six. Got a toss back. He can just... Yeah. Yeah, under and tower. egg, though. They're going over the oh. egg. Under the tower. The tower damage won't be enough there on the Pamplona. With the toss up, at the very least, he's dying first. And indeed, he gets the kill, dies. He is fine with that as... The uh, the clockwork, so he'll be respawning there, taking the tower up top, though. 
Arena. Oh, Jukes, left, right, dodge, dip, duck, dive. Unfortunately, still gets hit by the spear. Oh, yeah, well, oh it's, you're checking guys, out the wrong fight, buddy. It's, they're just peeping away. They gotta help their mid lane. That's right. They say, there's no time for a Dark Willow. We gotta help ADR. Oh, the wow. iron is not enough. I'm very impressed that they abandoned that top. <laughs> that was really well done. And now Sexy Yogi falls in the end of Tavo as the cleanup little boy. Damn. Well yeah. done. Well, little boy got the urn charges from killing the tiny mid and he won, sorry, tiny bottom. So he wanted to TP mid and go on to the TA, but he didn't get the dive hit. He dropped the two urns. They got everything onto ADR. It just wasn't enough. He that just bottled rough. through the urn. That would have been a it huge really kill was. for them because now they're going to get another ancient stack done up here. There's the ping. That's the Olacor yelling That's at him. Get over there. Hurry up. <laughs> and the Before tower, too, gets by mad. the way. Guys, you're mid? Yeah, that's dead. That's super dead. Yeah, it really is. All right, they even had an arcane rune and everything. Uh, he didn't. He doesn't really have anything to really stop the TA right now. But he just ran into a claw. Yeah, well, uh, not a clock anymore. That's for sure. He gives a little silence on the way out. Like, he's still level five here. No terrorize to work with. We'll have to go into the shadow realm. He, they really can't do anything to ADR unless the Phoenix is there. You need the uh, fire spirits and the sun ray. You need to be able to break these refractions really quickly. That's uh, something really important, and they don't really have that without the Phoenix. I don't think the Juggernaut is going to show up, try to blade for your TA. He might just get smacked in the face and die. Yeah, not worth the risk, because, uh, yeah, ADR is just going to move into that uh, dire territory to start farming up a little bit here. KJ as well going to find an Alpha Wolf, so... Okay, they were a little bit worried about potential vision in the top triangle. I saw them pinging for... Uh, some wards might be there from Infinity, but as of now, they don't have the vision. Man, this lead is More quickly stacks. ballooning right now for SG. Yep, we got the top tower, the mid tower, the map has opened up. Juggernaut is spending a lot of time uh, trying to kill this bottom. And we got some good stacks in the uh, Ancients area for ADR as well. So not only does he have Blink Dagger, he's going to probably have a Metro Hammer in two minutes. So... It's very scary. That That's on par for a, what, 14 and a half minute desolator, I would say, Tread? Yeah, they have major issues right now. Hmm. Now, how do you recover this is the question. Use your Witchblade and smoke with coil with egg? Yeah, you gotta. You gotta. You, do. you have to use these big cooldown spells, like, off cooldown. Every yeah. single time. Has to get one kill. And this At was least. kind of the problem last game, right? Where they, they didn't find these aggressive oh, maneuvers, but they have hook shots instead. So this should make it easier as they will first start with KJ. It's not the best kill, but uh, it was free, so they'll take it. Yeah, he's going for a solo quest too. The Olicor wants some revenge. Yeah, he's he's got a blink. He's also holding the tome. As they will get a spear out from the back line. Cabo, the, the back stab, in fact. They also want to try my sexy Yogi, surrounded by the heroes first. And the Olicor, oh, he's... Good lad, doesn't even... Are they gonna rush with this without a Dessel? I think it's if they had the Alpha will so it'd be even easier, but... Uh, I don't Funny think that I like this. isn't here, which is like the hero that usually makes this easy, but he doesn't have the tome yet because Theo just used it, so he's still level oh, 4. Boy. Yeah, but... <sighs> there's an egg. The, the egg is a coil? Yeah. They don't want to No, throw? they're getting out. They know. They're, this is a throw move. Good job, SG. It was a throw move from the beginning. Just get your death soul, get it, win another fight because you're so far ahead and you can do it, and then finish the Roshan. Yeah, I mean, frankly, chances are it probably goes well, but you're opening up an opportunity for a mistake. Yeah. Oh, and, just oh, blinks out. Oh no, they couldn't oh, break boy. the refractions in time. That was so close. ADR was surely dead. Had that hook landed and. Oh, that was such a good kill for them. Now instead they're turning the Hex on the PP first. Now the toss back as well. Pamplona has the cogs up on the fuel floor. That keeps back some of the disables, but he gets speared. He's gone. Jump through from PP. Last bit of damage there. They will clean up the Olicor. Same time, Sexy Yogi. Kind of retreat back with the team. Coast Belay drops low, but not near enough for the kill. So it's a little trade here in the mid lane as uh, now continues to farm. Well... I think that's okay in the end because they did get that lion kill and uh, SG, if they don't smoke up and do something with the fact that Phoenix Supernova was just used, then it won't really matter too much for Infinity. So we'll see in the next like minute or so what oh. happens. Oh, that's a spin from now. You better get out of here, bud. And Wait, are you telling does. me that there's a chance he would have made a mistake with the spin TP, Trent? 
Do well, pool players do that? Occasionally. Not this time, though. We're all good. Yeah. AJ, how's he still not level? Oh, I mean, I know why he's not level six. He <laughs> gave the total fuel core instead, but that's gonna be a little bit depressing, AJ. Yeah. Not that your level and, six uh, really matters all that much, other than tanking Roche. Exactly. He's he's okay with this. He's going for that straight solar crest. I'm not sure um, if it's the best. It's the best for his allies, but for himself, he might want like a clock. Boots. You know, just something. I still uh, like boots on this hero sometimes, you know. To tank up. Yeah, that's there true. There is a jug. <laughs> yeah, he's playing a very selfless game right now. Just going for the solar crest so I can buff up his TA. Just end this fast. And it looks like there's enough gold for the desolator for TA. 14 minutes indeed. You know, I've seen a couple of these casual slippers and they always make me laugh. <laughs> you just get for the lady stage, man. That's all it's for. Yeah, just, just plus three. Great energy. bands are for suckers, you know? It costs a lot to upgrade it, to be fair. Thanks. You know, he just farms yep. too fast that uh, <laughs> slots aren't worth it. Mm hmm. Can just sell those. Goes for the BKB next. And SG, you know, the the gold lead has kind of plateaued at this point. Oh no. This is the Blink of the Death Zone. Now they're smoking into them with only three heroes. Dark Willow's nearby. They're testing to see if they're in the Roach Pit. They're looking for a free pick first while they're still spread up. This could be their moment. There's the flare into the hook job. Oh, see you suckers. Now the trap too. They can turn oh, this boy. around if they want to. Cage is going to test it a little bit here. Throws in a couple of images and the slow. And Keep there's the spear from Tavo. Oh, they didn't see the blink coming. The arena locks the other two inside. They need to dive for the Phoenix to get out. Costa Phoenix is actually on his case, too. They might track down that Phoenix with a big blow up onto the clockwork. But, oh, another trap. Little boy, the traps are everywhere. You can't get away. Someone getting range for the toss back. No, he's going to toss him over to the granite golems. Unfortunately, they won't stun him for it. Don't worry. <laughs> he's gone. All planned so the spill damage can hit. Oh my god, that was Think disgusting. It wasn't calculated. That blink from Tavo, perfectly timed. Yep. The trap, I mean, the, the blink from ADR, great reactions. And the whole time they're waiting for the coil to come down, so they can use like the terrorize, and then they can use the supernova, get this huge team fight going. Yeah, and they and they're forced to try it again. It's their only hope at this point in the game. You might not get them clumped up again without an now. now. Starts it off. He's looking for an army slash. Who do I go on? Oh, you didn't go for the lion. You gotta go right in time before the hex comes out, but at least he doesn't get punished for it. Now he actually winds up on the line and jumps back to close to be like that big tiny. They're gonna get the damage in time. He falls. Can they get some more here? TA's gonna blink back. Remember that Roche is still Did you up. Go for Roche? And yeah. They, have, they feel forced. They're gonna check the health. They say, oh, I don't know. This is a little bit high. We don't have mana for the healing ward. I need some help. Anyone of our canes? Team, can I get some assistance? Unfortunately, you can't. We got a bottle on PP. Uh, that might be the only way they this. can do this. They got the Witch Blade. Yeah, yeah, and, true, uh, true. Pamplona just... making the space with the cogs. Kind of cut through them with the purge creep as well. A spear back from Tavo. That's Ooh, a quick pick yogi. on the sexy yogi. Now the Sunray coming out. They've dropped it low, but not low enough. Tavo comes through with the beat down to the shield. Pamplona just running into the timing space. Oh again. boy, now this is awful. Has lost all his mana casting spells. Now it's in the secret spot, hiding in the fog by the entrance of the Roche Pit. But then the arena comes out, so it bumps him out of his little spot. He uses to spin his way out. And now he's caught in the back on the coast of Elaine, tossed back into the middle of the rest of the team, and down now will fall. He does manage to take the Yolikor with him, but it's a god like Adriano. Oh man, he is huge on this Templar Assassin right now. He's also going to get the Aegis here, and that was such indecision from Infinity. All you have to do is just walk into the pit after they got two kills. Just hit the Roshan with all your heroes. They don't have Arena, they don't have a way to jump in, it's just TA and Mars alive. So if they want to commit to you, they're going to fight you 3v5 in the pit. Oh, sexy and, yo, he, he's just not again. even playing He just revived. Right now. He literally just revived. Yeah, that, that's a... He's at the lunch right now. They're just reeling over on the side of Infinity. You feel like this game's over and... Yeah. That was the IDC pickoff. This kind of feels like... With South American teams especially, you lose game one and everyone's just deflated already. They don't think... Like, how to come back. Why did we lose? What to do better? and try to pump each other up, right? Yeah. Very I mean, in their defense, teams. that last fight was kind of that moment, and they just lost yeah. it. it. It might be hard to reset for a second time of like, all right, guys, this is our chance. <laughs> yeah, they tried. Uh, they just, again, too indecisive with what their next moves are. They've already used most of their team fight abilities, no disables left, but you do still have five bodies mm -hmm. that could do damage to Roshan, and they just didn't do that.
Avo has had some great picks recently. Wants to find some more. They're going to get hooked on the Costa Vila, but there's the arena again, just separating them away from Costa Vila. It's a saving arena every time, it feels like. Avo just going to try and make some space away from the egg. They are still on to Costa Vila, but unfortunately, they've also found a kill over to the eastern side of the map onto our puck with the help of the Lion and the Templar Assassins. Tavo hides from the tree line, waits for the allies to approach, and has a blink in three, two, one. Oh, he wants it. Oh, he wants it. Tavo, come on. <laughs> Don't tease me. Oh, he's going home. He won't always get in misery. There we go. Dio, though, he wants it. That's true. He he's way in back there with, Dio, with uh, Costa Vila. And Sexy Yogi is actually still close, trying to set up some sort of a play. They're encircling like sharks. <laughs> they smell the top of the, the water of this dark willow. It's a great hiding spot. Make sure you guys use this one in your pubs. Yeah, I actually didn't even notice that one. It is very nice. Okay. All right, watch. Trent, I'm going to play Sanking. I'm going to sit in this trees. Next time it's you like watch me spot. play. Mm. And if you're Radiant, right? Do damage radiant. to the tower? Mm, yeah. Let's get some, some sauce on it. Coast of Belay, though. Gonna get caught up there. There's the snap. Oh, Wombo Combo down. But Tavo's gonna interrupt it. Get the spear on the PP. And so much damage. That is the toss won't hit in time, though. It's gonna keep the puck alive. Sexy Yogi found in the tree line, too. But there he goes. Coast of Belay down. There's one of the big monsters of Radiant is launched into the grave. But unfortunately, the figure comes out, blows up Sexy Yogi, and now it's spear to boot. Now will fall. And I feel like the end might be near, even if they are dropping a couple heroes here. They're going right into the base. ADR still has plenty of time left on this Aegis. Well, and wasn't the most. Get out. Yeah, it wasn't the worst trade. They still got the kill on the SG position one hero, the tiny, well, the TA is position one technically. Uh, but, you know, they don't go high ground. This Aegis is going to run out. The problem there was they used a the coil into Terrorites on a hero that has status assistance. True, it really true, true. doesn't work <laughs> against that. Man, I can't believe PP lived. That was crazy. I mean, he has a pretty good amount of armor. You know, he got the Witch Blade, right? Yeah, Six yeah. Six armor and, for that. I mean, his items are shockingly good right now. Like, having this Witch Blade and the Boots of Travel and now a Blink Dagger, he's second highest yeah. in this game. Obviously, there's a I, lot of it cemented on the Templar Assassin, but if they can get that combo you're talking about, maybe onto the TA after mm -hmm. this Aegis, there, there could be something there, but they have to work through a BKB to do it. As a Spear happens to launch Yogi right down into the river, not going to have a lot of HP back after the realm. He's just dead. Clean up there from ADR. If there's any way that Infinity can come back in this game, it's because of PP. PP is going to need to go to the back lines, delete the lion before the fight even starts, and just keep mm -hmm. poking people with the Witch Blade, kiting in the team fights. We've seen that before. Who was it that destroyed really hard with Puck? I think it was Leo style. I think it was, in a yeah. Game, yeah, in a game where they were losing really hard and just kind of split pushed his way into getting these items that allowed him to kill the supports instantly. Yeah, that was a big part of 7.28 in general, too. Those, those sort of plays. Unfortunately, Bjolkor will find him now. But with the help of Tavo, he should certainly be gone from PP. And indeed, he is a mega kill streak now for Tavo as they're also pushing the bottom lane at the same time. So just wins everywhere right now for SG. Ow! What you doing now, my friend? There's the Manta. <laughs> and I'm back well, home. He's, he wants to farm, but he doesn't know where. He just keeps running back and forth because everywhere he goes, there's a Templar Assassin showing or a Tiny that he can't really kick out of the lane. They yeah. both do incredible amount of physical damage to the Juggernaut. Yogi? Yo, dude, but come on. Yogi is going for some information plays here. Yeah, just... Well, he's finding a lot of information. <laughs> he's found information eight times so far this game. He really has. That's what uh, That's another word for feeding. I don't know. that one, If that was on my Overwatch case, I'd have to <laughs> rewind a little bit, watch his player perspective. Be like, didn't they just see them there? The you know, TA is uh, now making her wait. Oh, oh Coil, he, he wants the revenge play here. Kill the court. Man, so, fight. A little bit tanky. Oh, oh no, TV. It. Too close to the sun, perhaps. And now the sun as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I tip that too. Oh no, because you're not supposed to tip that. That's a Theola court tip right there. Come on. They oh, they, carry the players. they even steal the tip moments. <laughs> Well, Costabile is having trouble having some kind of impact in this game, right? So, mm. wait, was it him who played the Luna that one time? Where he, he wasn't just kept even tipping? Uh, no, because they won that game, and he because I don't think that was him, but I know what you're talking about. There's a Luna that did like nothing in the game, right? And yeah, and he was just everyone just kept the whole game. 
Yeah, wasn't wasn't it? Must have been I don't know. Okay. Might have been. I feel like that was infamous. All right. Either way, Infinity in trouble. That was a <laughs> on the now. Double damage there on the Templar Assassin trying to clean up now, but there is a hook shot that comes through. Does save. Thank you, Pamplona. And uh, now is now trying to get some vengeance with the chase down. Whoa! Giant brambles on four. Huge plays. That's gonna fill up the hero relics. ADR okay. coming out as well as the Omni Slash. He's messed up. Yeah, still has half a DD left, so be careful when you come back out. Yeah, it's gonna keep on running. Doesn't want to get stuck inside of that egg. And there's the whip from Pamplona. Trying to slow down this line. Silence onto a couple. Now the snap once again. They grab close to Pele. He really is having a hard time with this one. He gets out a lot of damage on these heroes. They're gonna lose Pamplona. Close to Pele. Magic to just get out, please. I can't even live for one of these fights. But no, PP with the focus. Yes, ah, the hex. It will bring down PP. Wait, but, oh, but wait, just I spoken too soon. Blink out. He's got the angle. He's living. He has the essence ring as well. They might even get a kill on the ADR here. He's burning down. Where's the spirit vessel? One more. Too late. Are they out? They're out of charges. He's got none left. He can't find them on the escape. Jug trying to chase. Not going to find them. Force after the low ground from KJ. Nice survival play. And now Thielicor, the one who did get that last spirit vessel PP's charge, back. will die at the very least. Wait, I yeah. thought PP died. I, no, he was at like zero HP and he wow. phase shifted on the high ground and blinked perfectly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he actually managed to live. I mean, that wasn't the most awful fight for Infinity at all. Like they survived. Uh, it looked pretty bad because ADR blinked and he went onto the Phoenix, but you couldn't really delete him. He got the supernova off with the vessel onto the TA and the TA just had to pop the BKB and run away while getting Omni slashed. So next fight. Like, this BKB is starting to go lower for TA. She's got to make sure that uh, she really kills a hero every time she blinks in. She can't just make those plays where you go on a Phoenix, they don't die, and they turn on you and kill you. Okay, it's a 16k lead, but if they get the Agonims on PP... Yeah, definitely. They have the team fight. They exactly. actually have a problem at that point. Yeah, we're on the same wavelength here, Trent. Yeah. There's a really good team fight possibility for Infinity. And SG, like, in the mid late game... Their team I don't look too hot. Like they need this kind of goalie to be able to sustain their heroes. I'll tell you one thing. You know, the, the real carry of this game has been Tavo. He has been incredible in these fights. He's still 7-0 and 14. Yeah, I feel has. like every arena has been great. The spears are huge. The pickoffs on the side lanes. I don't think Tavo wants to let this one slip. He's gonna keep this going, but Theo, he's making a name for himself as well. Get the hex into the instant finger on the now. He's gone. Tavo wants to fish off Pamplona. Spears him to his own cogs. Oh, what That's a way it. to Hi, go. God. Goodbye, Raxus. Yeah, and oh yeah, let's see, see Tiny Nash. Again next like, game, yes, finally, huh? my moment has come. <laughs> Give me a Deso hit, ADR. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm telling you, Ghost of Mila is, 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 this guy's a funny guy. <laughs> He's having a get me out kind of game. <laughs> he really is. Well, a few more smacks. The tower come down with ease. And I don't know why you're being so hesitant, guys. Theo's really nervous about this backline. Not sure where the puck is. Trying to keep an eye on things. Wants to catch him cutting this next wave. All right, Theo. Uh, we'll see. Unfortunately for him, the puck's gone all the way back sexy to the base. Sexy Yogi. Oh, but Sexy He's Yogi. The out doing Sexy Yogi things. Is he has living. wards. He's got the wards vision, so he knows exactly where he needs to move to to avoid SG. Oh, but does he? Oh, yeah, he's got the ward. He sees Theo again. Okay, he hasn't gone too far. And now his team is taking a few hints, like, oh, okay, all right, and I guess that means we can go here. PP's going to grab a wave. They're also oh, going to want to... Oh, he just orbed up here, PP. Careful now. PP's good. He's not going to die. He knows where they are as well. He knows they're on that high ground, chilling. He just wants to be able to get them split push going. He's got Desolator. He's starting to build some decent amount of damage. Oh, he didn't Try go eggs? Buck. He just bought that he... Deso. Yeah, he did. He just bought that Dessel. I'm just as shook as you are, not going the Axe. I mean, he must have felt desperate because the Juggernaut died there. Yeah. Had he not died, I think it would have went for the Agonins. All right, well, he's going to see if this damage Kale. pays off. And indeed Huge it does. damage. Wow. All right, all right. I see you now, PP. I got you. And okay. And, and the Courier. Thank That's you. That's a lot Thank of gold. You. Thank you, Dessel. Value. Yeah. BKB and. was delivered, though, right before the Courier died, so true all right what's our, our shard here who, who are we handing this to from each team tiny already bought one his nice. own shard um mars i guess you want that double spear what about this uh psionic trap silence <laughs> i rarely see it being used it's pretty good it, you kind of just pop it 
Yeah, but you kind of just instantly pop it. If you instantly pop it, it doesn't last very long. True. So. Although it is a puck with no dispels. True that. That is also it might true. Might be all you need, you know? That, that's just a blink hex. Mm -hmm. Oh. Sexy like Yogi. Yeah, Scouting once more. Does confirm there's a Roche. PP. Takes the haste and gets out. Another information play from Sexy Yogi. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have a Halberd on Little Boy to go with his level 2 ulti, so maybe he can be the one to try and <laughs> stop ADI in these fights. Hook shot. Oh, but it was the oh, toss boy. first. So he's going to chase the clockwork Super down, nice. and that's a, a hook shot and a death now. Oh, you, you know... Pee -pee? Okay, PP, you're in trouble, sir. You are super dead. KJ is not a kind of. KJ is not the support that you can kill. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, he thought he had the damage. Uh huh. He's got the heal. I mean, I guess untouchable is kind of hard. I guess if you do use space shift, you can get the right click off regardless. <laughs> That's only one, though. <laughs> yeah, it's only one. You know? Alright, let's see. Who's got the shard? TA's got the shard. Follow you, let's go. Oh, Tavo's hey, following him. Tavo's like, yo, oh, bro, wait, give it to me. Already. Nice. Oh, no. Now. All right. I definitely oh, thought there was going to be more stuns, but uh, Tavo was too far away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got the um, shard now on TA. I guess what you can do is like you can set up these traps along like the top lane, and whenever the puck goes to... Cut a creep wave, you can just silence him. He can also I'm... potentially even follow up. No, actually, no, never mind. That's not worth it. But yeah, I think you're right. Just like the side lane traps will be mega value. Yeah, and then you let the puck get caught under one of them. Then Theo will follow up with some disables. And it increases the vision nice radius up. by 125. That's pretty sick. Yeah, that is very sick. It's actually a ridiculous amount of vision that it provides. It's pretty much like a ward at that point. Yeah. All right, we'll start with the range racks. Just a little, little light touches here. And they don't want any bit of this. They are just heading to the bottom, trying to get a little bit more gold. They must be close to something or uh, trying to get their neutrals. Yeah, yeah, the three out of four found. See if they can find uh, a Swiss Army knife to save them from the predicament they're in in the jungle. Just lose the free top racks with his Aegis on TA. She's going for a Satanic. Yeah, she's got it now already. All right, Kostavile, they start off with the hook shot. And Yule's up onto now. Tavo, the separating arena here, catches Little Boy. That's the kill they want. They can't get it in time. Though. Another terrorize this go to help cover the egg with the coil there, too. No, KJ, everyone's stuck pop. inside, but now KJ's going to try and heal them up during this. He's healing them through the Omni Slash. Kostavile stands tall with the help of the spirits. And just starts clubbing back onto now. They will retreat back. Only death now. The Myers and the clock buyback on the Myers. Two shot from right here onto Sex Yogi. That's a godlike streak. They will drop the Olicor though. Another snag in the back lines from PP. Toss from the Jug Illusion all the way out of PP. As I see a spinning now trying to help protect Little Boy, but he will fall. And now just the Jug and the Puck. The two big heroes, also the two ones surviving. And the Glyph will drive them back though. I mean, they still got Aegis and Satanic. He's just waiting for the next creep wave so he can heal right back up. He's got like two more minutes left on that Aegis. So. Or the next hero at this rate. Next hero, yeah. yeah. That's also an option. Tavo, he's got the shield up. He's holding the line. Whoa, that hook shot. Nice angle. Comes through onto two. Pamplona going to get out of there too. Trying to make his way back and just hold on. But I don't know if there's any capitalization right now from the side of Infinity. Peepee's all the way in the mid lane just grabbing the creeps. Oh, not just a lot the happening there. Patient. Uh, two more minutes left of Aegis. PP not able to find the uh, the bottom wave at the very least. And looks like the other core is predicting uh, some potential plays here. Let's see. Does he, does he run to the wave? No, he's just running to his team. They, they get to the high ground. They're not worried about this one getting wiped out. Lotus Orb picked up here from KJ. Some more assistance for these tower hitters. SGR just like, get me out of this game, guys. Just let me hit these buildings. And Infinity, you know, they got the good team fight, but... They don't have the damage on any of their heroes. Yeah, like and they gotta the wait puck, 15 more for this egg. Right, like the way even PB does have some damage, the problem is the lion's always watching for it. Tavo again finally misses a spear. The man is not uh, perfect, it turns out. The call does oh, the combo. Work more. The terrorize on the air. He's actually rooted, so he's not snapping the coil. Mind you, there's still an Aegis to boom. Now he just turns and blows up Sexy Yogi. Egg very far away. I think they can mostly get out of the range of this one. Yeah, even Yolikor does. Four staff just in case. ADR still hitting the buildings. 
dive through from the Phoenix, a disarm as well. Stop him from just beating it now during the spin, but Indio's not going anywhere. He wants these buildings. The Agonim Scepter is picked up from PP, but it's 55 seconds away from being usable on his ultimate. And they get any sort of a dignity kill on the way out of here as they take the Megas. <laughs> There's still ages kill. for another 45 seconds. They grab another great spear from Tavo into those lone few trees in the base. Now the spin. Getting away, he's got that shot for the bonus movement speed, and the halberd as well. It's a blink. That might save him. Little boy tries to make the big plays, but he's not a big boy quite yet. And ADI will bring down now. Jetpack into the fountain from Pamplona for saving himself. But it won't save his team, it won't save his ancient, and it won't save this series. This SG clean up a very convincing 2-0 over in Finland. I don't even remember how ADR died this game. He had one death. Yeah, 24 kills and one death. I mean, this T oh, against it was Puck early, remember? Seems... Uh, it was like at six minutes. Right. Yeah, okay. It was like some mid... Oh, yeah, they TP'd everyone mid, right?